welcome back to The Average Drinker. I'm Dara, I'm your average drinker, and in this video, I'm going to show you 10 great daily drinkers. I've got some rye, got some bourbons, got some scotches, got an Irish. I have picked out these 10 based on the bottles that I love to drink on a daily basis or a regular occasion. Sometimes I crave a rye, sometimes I crave a bourbon, other days I crave scotch. So these are 10 of my go-to bottles that I really, really enjoy drinking. And even better, yeah, even better, you can actually find all of these bottles. They're pretty easy to find in most places. There's always that chance that one of these bottles might not be on a shelf where you live, but I do have an alternative for you in that case. So I am going to start out first with some bourbons. And the first bourbon that I've got on my list is, if I can find it, oh, got it. Buffalo Trace. Yep, just a Buffalo Trace, a classic Buffalo Trace. This one's nice because it's about $25, comes in at about 90 proof, so it's a low proof. It has some of that classic bourbon flavor, some vanilla, light oak, some dark cherry, and it's just really enjoyable to sip on. It's pretty mild, so you could just spend all day sipping away with some Buffalo Trace, and I believe that you can find it in most places. It's, and even better, actually, this is one thing, even better if you can find a store pick of this one, support your local stores, because store picks are sometimes even better than the regular basic Buffalo Trace bottle. So if you find a store pick, I would suggest that one. Otherwise, go with this one. It's always a good choice. And that is gonna be my first bourbon, my first daily drinker on the list. There's no ranking or specific order, but I went with this one first. All right, so next up, I have one of my favorite bottles of all time. I think it's all time, I don't know. It's one of my fav favorite 100 proof pours, and that is Cooper's Craft 100. This one is so dang delicious, I love it. Comes in at about $35, it's 100 proof, and it literally tastes delicious, like a sweet banana Laffy Taffy. Oh, shake that Laffy Taffy, that Laffy Taffy. Oh, shake that Laffy Taffy, that Laffy Taffy. Oh, shake, okay, I gotta stop. Every time I pull out this bottle, I think of Laffy Taffy, like that song D4L or something like that. I love that song, it's ridiculous, but it makes me think of high school, and I, I don't know, it's fun. This bottle just is really, really enjoyable, and I love it so much, but, but, there's always a but, right? I think, but with this bottle, some people said to me in the past on different videos that they can't find this bottle in their state. And if that's the case, I have another alternative for you. And that bottle is Old Forester 100. It tastes, it's got the banana, vanilla, a little bit of spice to it. It's really, really enjoyable and comes in at 100 proof also. And it might be actually a little bit cheaper than the Cooper's Craft. So if you're looking for an alternative or you don't have this bottle or you just really like Old Forester, check out Old Forester 100. That's the second bottle I've got on the list for a daily drinker, the Cooper's Craft 100. All right, for my next bottle, it's a bottle I talk about all the time, all the time, I can't help it. It's another one of those that I love so much, can't get enough of it. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it so much. It is, you guessed it, Wild Turkey 101, Wild Turkey 101. This is a fantastic bottle, a fantastic pour at $22 in Colorado. You cannot go wrong for 101 proof for a turkey. I love this Wild Turkey. And I got the new bottle because we just finished off another bottle. This one is delicious. Some vanilla, light, oak, light oakiness, a splash of cherry on there and a whole bunch of cinnamon. I love this one so much. It's one that I would highly recommend, and I drink this one very often. Very, very, sometimes more than I'd like to admit, admit. But I love it. Wild Turkey 101 is a great daily drinker, and heck, if you wanna make a cocktail, this will make a good cocktail as well. So that's the next one on the list. Now the next one is something I also really love, which is pretty obvious because I made this list. But if you're looking for a little extra kick in the butt one day, or maybe a little extra proof, either way, go with the OGD 114. This one is awesome. I love the OGD 114. 
Obviously, it's 114 proof. I really enjoy it because that has that extra spice kick that I enjoy so much. Not overly sweet. It's still sweet, but it's not overly sweet. I love the spiciness to it. This one is about $30 in Colorado, so it's not a bad price point. You can enjoy it, and it holds up really well in an old fashion. If you haven't tried OGD 114 in an old fashion and you like old fashions, highly recommend this one for that. It's And if you don't want to drink it in an old fashioned, you just want to drink it neat or with some ice or whatever, drink it however the heck you want. Either way, it's going to be delicious and I love it and I highly recommend the OGD 114. Alright, so the next bottle on my list might surprise you a little bit. Actually, it kind of surprises me too. It's a bottle that I kept seeing on the shelves everywhere. I was like, what the heck is this? It is Blue Note Juke Joint. Blue Note Juke Joint. Uncut, unfiltered, deliciousness. If you're looking for something to drink on a daily basis that's a higher proof, but tastes really like a nice classic bourbon with some vanilla, light, oak light oakiness, a bit of caramel, like a little bit of spice, a little bit of sweet, just a really, really enjoyable pour, this is one I recommend. This one comes in at 123 proof, so it drinks, I mean, it doesn't drink hot to me. It doesn't drink hot, but it is a little bit higher proof and it's just absolutely delicious. I have heard so many great things about Blue Note, Blue Note and now I know why. It's really enjoyable and yeah, I don't know. This is a great, great, great pour and it's under $40. I really like it and you can't go wrong with this one. Have you tried Blue Note? What do you think of it? Let me know in the comments because it's one I'm always curious to see what other people think about it. I really like it, so yeah, I'm glad I picked it up and there are so many store picks of it. Everywhere I go, I'm like, oh, there's another Blue Note store pick. There's another one, there's another one. I know that Mash and Drum has said good things about it, so I know like other people in the bourbon community have said good things about it. So I'm not the only lonely right here. This is a great pour. All right, so now it's time to move on to some rye. And the rye that I have to start off with is Bullet 95 Rye. This one is a delicious, lovely, enjoyable pour. I love it. It's under $30, which makes it a great daily option. And it comes in at 90 proof, so that's good. This one is just lightly spiced. It's got some creamy vanilla-ness to it, a little bit of tobacco. It holds up really, really, really nicely in a Sazerac cocktail if you're looking for that. If you're looking to just drink it neat, it's great too. If you enjoy rice, this is one that you can sip on all day long and it's just really, really delicious. Ah, I just wanna ah, pop it up. Mm. Oh yeah, that's super tasty. Super nice, it's sweet, a little spicy and tobacco. Oh, it just reminds me so much of like a little spicy tobacco, bakey, bacon spices, not bacon, wow, I said bacon baking spices. This one is delicious, the great option, like I said, for a daily drinker. All right, now it's time to move on to another rye, but this one is going to be a little bit different. This one is going to be the Russell's Reserve Six Year Rye. This one is only 51% rye, so it does taste significantly different to me than the Bullet. This one has a way lower rye content, so it's not gonna be as spicy. To me, this one is much sweeter. This one has a very, very sweet profile to it. It costs a little bit more. I think this one is around $45. Comes in at 90 proof. So it's a similar proof. It's just gonna be just a sweet, creamy, vanilla deliciousness. It's one that I really enjoy to sip on. If I'm looking for a rye, but something that's not quite as spicy that day, I would go with this one. It's just really, really enjoyable, and you can't go wrong with Russell's Reserve. I've always, like I'm a huge wild turkey fan. Like obviously I'm a huge wild turkey fan because I love the spice characteristic that comes through in most wild turkey bottles. So yeah, this one is a good option. All right, now for my scotch lovers out there. If you love scotch as much as I do, I love it. Oh my gosh, it depends on the day if I want a peated scotch or a non-peated scotch, which is why I have two great options of whiskey for you. One for the peated fans, one for the non-peated fans, or the fans who just don't want peated that day. I've got two great options, and I'm gonna start with one that has quickly become one of my favorites, and that is Monkey Shoulder. 
Now I want to do the shoulder lean again, but like the monkey shoulder, like do the shoulder lean. Earlier I did Laffy Taffy and now I want to just do like shoulder lean. Okay, I can't do it. I can't dance at all, but that's okay. That's why we're here to drink whiskey, right? We're here to drink the whiskey and enjoy it. And this one is a great, great, delicious pour. This one comes in at 80 proof. So it's a very, very low proof. It's also very affordable. It's about $20, maybe a little less, maybe a little more, give it, give or take a few bucks. This one is so good though. It's filled with some orange and vanilla notes. Like it is an orange bomb. And for being only 80 proof, it actually holds up super well on a cocktail. I love this in a hot toddy. So, so good. I drank a lot of this one and I really, I've learned to just fall in love with it. And plus, I'm a huge fan of the bottle. Like this bottle just looks really cool. I love the monkeys on this. Like every time I try to show you guys the bottle, I'm like, why did I try to show you the bottle? But the monkeys are so cute. Anyhow, I love this monkey shoulder. It's a great scotch. It's a great non-peated scotch and it's super delicious. And on their website, they literally say, this is made for mixing. Oh, one more thing. I know in another video that I said, I think it was like five scotches you need to have and I picked my daily drinker as Glen Morangy. Well, I'm actually gonna switch it up here and do this one as my daily drinker just because I think this one has more of the orange burst that I'm looking for, especially if I wanna make a cocktail or if I just wanna sip it neat. Really enjoy orange flavors. Love the citrus notes this, that this one provides. So that's why I chose this one. And while it's sweet, it's not too overly sweet for me. And I love it. And that was my non-peated version. But now it's time to bring out the peated version. Ta-da! Ardbeg 10. And while I said peated version, what I meant is peated bottle. This is a peated whiskey and it's a freaking delicious peated whiskey at that. Holy moly, this is one I love. I love the toffee notes and the coffee notes. The perfect balance of sweet and peat. Love it. It's about $45 for a 10 year whiskey. That's pretty darn good. 10 years. It's delicious. And I just, I love to sip on this one, especially if, well, obviously if I'm in the mood for peat, but this one is just really nicely peated. It doesn't come off that way right off the bat. When you drink it right off the bat, it's pretty sweet. And then comes through on the palate. It's really re like on the back end of the palate, really enjoyable. And, and this one makes a phenomenal espresso martini. Like if you're looking for something like a chocolate espresso martini, oh, you gotta give this one a try. Cause I freaking love the chocolate espresso martini with that peat that comes through from this one. Oh, so good. I mean, also I enjoy sipping it alone, but really, really good bottle. Great for a daily scotch drinker. Holy moly, have we really already made it through nine bottles? Like, oh my gosh, that's crazy to me. Nine bottles, nine great bottles. But now we're about to go to the 10th bottle and that one is an Irish whiskey and it's a really great Irish whiskey at that. It is Redbreast 12. Redbreast 12 is freaking so phenomenal. This one comes in at 90 proof, just kidding, 80 proof, wow. I had a brain fart there for a second. This one comes in at 80 proof. It's really, really, really enjoyable. I get so much sherry influence on this one. And then I get this slight hint of spice and I love it. And it's very light to drink, not a high proof at all coming in at 80 proof. Um, I mean, if you're looking for something to kick your butt a little bit more, maybe give the Red Rest 12 cast strength a try. But I think this bottle right here, the Red Rest 12, is great for somebody who's just trying Irish whiskey for the first time. It's really, really enjoyable. Great flavors, great, just, just all around really, really good. So I would suggest this one, Red Rest 12, for an Irish daily drinker. And for 12 years, it comes in at about $55. I mean, that is a really great price. Well, to me it is, to me it is. You might think differently, but to me it is. So now let's pull up each bottle. I doubt I'm gonna be able to fit these on the screen, but I wanna do a quick recap. And while I'm doing this, I wanna know what bottles you guys like would choose as your daily drinkers. Would you choose one? Would you choose several? Or would you just stick with like one of each category? I don't know, let me know in the comments. Let's pop all these suckers back up here. I tried to do this earlier and I was like, that was a bad idea because there's a lot of bottles to try to fit on the screen. And then people might not even see them, but that's okay, because it just looks like a really Aussie. 
awesome whiskey hug. Like it's like, oh, so many delicious bottles. Love them. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Dun, dun, dun. We need like some good music playing or something. If you guys didn't know, do live streams on Monday nights. Every Monday, 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Check them out. A lot of fun on there. Oh my gosh. Last week, Bill and I did one. Well, recently, because who knows when you're watching this, but recently, Bill did one with me. And we had a great time. We have a lot of really fun on Monday nights. Okay, so now I got all the bottles in front of me. You probably cannot see. You definitely can't see these, but that's okay. So, recapping real quick here. So, we have Buffalo Trace. We have Blue Note Juke Joint, OGD 114, Wild Turkey 101, Cooper's Craft 100. We have Russell's Reserve 6-Year Rye, Bullet 95 Rye, Ardbeg 10, Monkey Shoulder, not, not the shoulder lane, Monkey Shoulder, and Red Rest 12. 10 great daily pour options for you. I want to know which ones are your favorite. Have you tried these? What do you like the most? I mean, what are your favorite daily drinkers? Let me know in the comments. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching The Average Drinker. I'm Dara, and I'll see you next time.